Hey everybody, my name is CryptoCal, and welcome to the next episode of All The Mods 9. Are you kidding me? We're starting off this episode today a little bit south of our main base area because Grace found this house because she wanted to get some building blocks that are only found in the dimensions from the Blue Skies mod. So how you get to the Blue Skies uh, dimensions is you could talk to this gatekeeper and he'll sell you a zeal lighter, which is what you have to use to... Ex huh? So you buy the zeal lighter from this guy and that's what you need to light the portal to go to the next dimension and you can get the, the journal here which is kind of like the the guidebook by trading with this guy as well grace went ahead and stole the portal frame because i think you're planning on bringing it back to the base right yep plan on setting it up once we get back for now i guess we can just shove it in the wall somewhere yeah i already made a hole in the wall so this is what the uh ever dawn not the ever bright ever dawn. yes yeah. ever dawn not ever bright in we go Let's go Oh, heck. Is there any hostels around here? I Emberbeck. So. He's, chasing He's chasing you. Me. You have fun with him. Adios. Villager, what are you doing here? You're unemployed. <laughs> Flight is disabled in this area. What are you? That's oh, a he lit me on fire. <gasps> oh, ow. Uh, the weapon doesn't work that well. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, what are we here uh, for again? Just uh, so we can get that wait, and maybe get wait, out. What are you? A shade monitor. Got him. Kind of cute. All right, what are we after? The lunar leaves? Oh, oh it's a big frog. Where? Hello. <laughs> I'm underground right now. Man, it is so loud out there. Okay. All right. I'm done. I'm going home. Places. I, I'm not quite done here yet, but I will see you back at the, the place soon. Welcome back. So what was the hall? Way too much of the stone. Some of this ore actually has like unique abilities too. Like the Horizon Knight. If you make it into a pickaxe, it auto smelts. Oh, that's kind of cool. On f first look, the armor isn't like anything crazy. Like seven armor is less than we have on. So what is this place here? This is a... I'm not a really big, sure, but there's a big structure. Big dungeon. Big tower. There are lunar bookshelves in here and glowing bind blinding stone. Oh, I can't get in. I can't I break any can't of this. Break. Oh, it's a maze. Well, I, can't I have a blinding <laughs> dungeon key. Oh, I got one. One two. down, Fine. three to go. Great. What is over here? There's a cat here. Uh, So there's vindicators here. I got one. Well, I think we have enough yeah. keys between all of us to unlock something. I have four, though. You mean oh, four? Oh, then yeah, you can just go then. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. no. Uh-oh. I'm in uh -oh. trouble, probably. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I do nothing to this guy. I don't do absolute nothing, but I do nothing enough. Oh, he just... He hurt oh. you. You teleported because you hit me. Wait, can I get back in? Yeah, you're above me, but I can't get to you. Oh, I'm back. Keep eating toast. Yeah, I'm just trying to... Oh, lava's spilling out. Carefulest thing I could Get him! Oh, Yay! Oh, oh. We're the best. I got the alchemist trophy. I got an alchemist loot bag. Did you get that? I did, actually. Yeah, I oh. got a spike shield, a smithing template, some ingots, and the alchemist trophy. What did you get? Oh. Oh. But did you get it? I did, yeah. <gasps> Wait, you did? Yo, that's so good. I I'm got so it. I'm so happy we got one between the two of us. Well, that was exciting. So I can convert glowstone to redstone and back and forth. Pumpkins to melons and back and forth. Netherrack to blackstone? You can convert all the different concretes into the other colors for free. You can convert coal into coal coke this way? That's actually... What? Really? That sounds pretty broken. Coal coke? What's that? Yeah, you can. Wow, that's crazy. Put in our alchemy table you can buy three blaze rods for one emerald i'll just maybe buy two to level him up his later trades don't seem as cool all right so technically grace for this we don't need to find an ancient city per se we have to find okay. a deep dark biome which is all what right. we need to f that's where we can find the aldamodium i also would like an echo shard though <laughs> well yeah we'll, we'll we'll find one but the thing is, once we have all the modium, then we can craft a structure compass, which will let us then find an ancient city. Gotcha. So we'll just start off by using our... I have a nature's compass here with a deep dark located, and it's uh, okay. 1,500 blocks south okay. southwest. Just let me get the, some of the stuff out of my inventory, and then I'll be set to go. Oh, we are full up on spawners here. Yeah, we, we've got a few of those. I'll bring a waystone just in case we want to go back. Oh, you look ridiculous flying without wings. That's really funny. Oh, thank you. I'm very glad for my night vision glasses. Or those goggles. are handy, yeah. Those are handy. These oh. are like tall dark oak forests. There's a lush cave. Betcha the deep dark's down here somewhere. 180 it blocks? Yeah, probably. Okay. Wow, it's pretty down here. Oh, there's like a mine shaft here too. Yeah, that's what I was kind of looting a little bit before we moved on. Ooh, a flawless gem. 
There's an axolotl here. It's a very exciting premise. There's a spawner over there. Oh, that's a zombie brute. Scary. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where'd you come from? Die. Found some diamonds. Die. What do you drop? Wow. This thing's cooking. Wow. That is a lot of words. Why is there a wandering trader here? Oh, I heard a skulk sensor. Uh oh. I have found a deep dark. But okay. There we go. I got, I got some night vision now, too. Did you get the night vision? Oh, true sight. It was a scroll. Got a, I got three flux points. That would be so handy if we had, you know, power. It's not huge. So I'm kind of oh. thinking we might not have a city. Oh, that that guy is fancy looking. He's got a hat. All right, let's break this spawner. A good spawner. Actually, this is a good spawner. I'm going to keep this one. All right, let's take our warp stone home. I I killed a stone link. Did he give you a heart of diamond? He did. All right, let's check a deep dark here. Anything closer? Still trying to take me back to the same one. That's kind of crazy. There really isn't one close by at all. Yeah, we're not having very good luck with that. Oh, there we go. We've locked onto a new one. Oh, yay. Okay. Still 2,000 blocks and new chunks. Ugh. I'm not loading Well, either. I'm going to just start making my trek over there because that's the only other way we're going to get a deep dark, apparently. Yeah, there's a, shriek, there's a shrieker down here. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll set up a little safe area. We can like put a small respawn point with like a waystone. And odds are, if we summon the warden and he wardens us, no, we are going to get absolutely trampled by him. You know that, right? That's kind of part of the plan. Fighting the warden is kind of like the oh, you can't find all the modium. You have to do it that way. You get a piece from the quest that you get when you okay. kill him. Waystone right here. Deep. Dark. All right, so this is going to be a bit of a live, die, repeat type adventure. Here we go. Mom, I'm scared. Come pick me up. Come on in, buddy. Oh. One more. Next one. Time for death. What? What the heck? Ah! What? I hit you, or he hit you. Oh wait, that's actually crazy. That's actually goaded. Wait. Wait, where'd he go amazing. though? Amazing. Oh no, where'd he go oh, now? Another one's coming. Take take that off. That's gonna be a problem. Cause now he's just somewhere else, and we don't okay. know where. He's very mad though. Uh oh. Oh, there he is. Found him. Did I just hit him again? What? What is going on? I think he just teleports. It, no, it's my bow. It's my bow. I'm so confused. Yeah, it's my bow. Wait, why is it a good thing? He's almost dead. Oh. That was sick. It swapped places with them every single time, so he could never hit me. But there's another one. Yeah, where? He's groaning angrily. Oh, damn. Oh, I just got smacked. Oh, he's below us. Ow. And ironically, I take very little damage, though. Yeah, surprisingly me, too. He's below us, Cal. He's below. Okay, well. He's, like, below in this direction. Where is he? Yeah, he's below us. He's Ouch. charging. Oh, you're taking damage. Ouch. Yeah. Actually, I'm taking where a decent you? little bit of damage. Ouch. I don't know where you are. I'm trying to find you. Oh, there you are. Ow. Okay, where are you? How far did this I guy found go? Him. Found him. He's just letting me kill him. There's another one. I hear Warden's heartbeat. Oh. No, that's because you're holding a heart of the deep. Oh. That you're gonna oh, oh but that's gonna oh, spawn another one that's a warden i mean we don't really need more so we could probably just leave well i think that was a pretty successful attack we didn't die i actually can't believe we yeah. didn't die i didn't even think we had that good armor but i guess we do i don't know yeah I, I took my helmet off for most of it too here um i i also achieved one block closer to me building my starter home mm -hmm. and it is as follows 
Look how pretty. Ooh. Aren't they cool? I like them. I like it a lot. Did we swap places? No, we went further. Oh. Yes, we did both teleport. If we so if we take a look at our quests here, you should have the kill the warden tab where you can select and get a whole bunch of XP and yep. the all the modium ingots, which is the big one. And then also a random other reward. But the all the modium ingot is kind of the most important. Yeah, so that one all the modium ingot is what we're gonna use to craft the all the modium nuggets, which we can use to make the teleport pad. What do I need that for? Well, let me show you. I'll use mine. Surround it in a crafting grid like this, and we can get a teleport pad, which is this bad boy. So now if I come over here, let's just put it down where we normally do our mining for now. Okay. If we now take this and shift right click. Oh. Welcome to the mining dimension. What's that? This is just a dimension that is completely spawn proof. There, it's just loaded with ores and it goes all the way down to end stone levels. Oh, wow. That's weird. Okay. So it's a, you, you, okay, you immediately degen started picking this up. Come back, come back, come back, was. come back, come back. The main draw with this that's really cool is that you can find all the modium in this dimension without having to go to a deep oh. dark. So that's where we're going to get okay. all the rest of our all the modium, which we can then use to get access to the ancient city blah, blah 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 we need to get the you know the templates and all that stuff but we can find the actual ore here i'm just trying to see what all these things are we have a bunch of piles of well them. i think so in this pack i believe they intentionally restricted all the greg tech ores to only be available in the mining dimension yeah i'll probably just what what are you doing i threw a rock at you again with the rocks bro but i didn't I didn't throw it like I did last time. This time I'm actually throwing them, throwing them like snowballs, but made of rock. Okay, so you can just dig this all the way down. Can you mine with silk so we can get actual stone instead of cobble? Uh, yes, actually. But yeah, we can mine this all the way down to... See, we're at Y200 right now. Like, we're like super yeah. high. So this high is just like go. full of ores. Oh, wow. That's a lot of copper. What are we at? Y143. Yikes. All right, we hit deep, deep slate. slate. There we go. There we go. So oh. now we hit netherrack. Probably lower down in the world, like where we are right here, is going to be the best. I kind of wanted to try and find one piece of all the modium. This is the best dimension to degen mine in. Mm. Not giving you any mm. ideas, but... All right, so a little bit more time has passed here, and I've been working away upgrading my pickaxe. And that's because getting Fortune 5 books is really, really easy with the evil craft setup that we have here and because we have so much of the condensed blood that we've been getting from looting all of those chests and such we actually have plenty of materials that we need to craft up a bunch of these vengeance pickaxes i'm also going ahead and getting a bunch of these blocks made up because i'm actually dumping all the fortune 5 enchantments off of the pickaxes and onto the books and I'm combining them all up to get higher and higher levels of fortune for example right now my current pickaxe has fortune 7 but I'm working on getting it all the way up to potentially fortune eight. So I think that's where we're gonna probably call it for upgrading the fortune level. But unfortunately to combine our fortune seven pick right now with the fortune seven book that I have now, it's gonna take 50 levels. So we're not quite at that point yet. I do have a few of these lost pages and I'm gonna go ahead and eat all these up and maybe we can get pretty close to level 50. There we go, we're at 48. Probably just a small one will be enough to get us all the way to 50. There we go, 51. So that's actually great. We can put the rest of the pages away and kind of keep them for another time. But now we can go ahead and take our fortune pickaxe, give it the fortune seven book. And this thing is an absolute monster. <laughs> and I want to go and test this out and try and find a little bit of all the modium. So what I'm going to do is go and grab our one piece of all the modium that we have left. And I want to make a potion of all the modium site, which we need to craft a calcinated all the modium powder for, which involves getting us the pestle mortar and the ender powder, which is just the ender pearl inside of the mortar and pestle. And we have all that stuff ready to go. All we have to do is craft up these mortar and pestles, surround this by brick, and we get our mortar like so. And then we have to get the pestle, which is just one piece or two pieces of quartz and one diamond, just like this. And now we can craft up our ender powder. And then finally, we can get our all the modium powder, just like so. And the mortar and pestle never actually breaks, so that's kind of handy. And now we get to smell the powder inside of the furnace, just like so. And that will then create 
the calcinated olimodium powder. And this is what we actually use to do the brewing. We have to get some mundane potions to get the olimodium site. So we have to get a brewing standout, which I think we should have from just our basic looting adventures. Um, yeah, we have six of them in here, so we'll go ahead and just throw this down for now. Now to make mundane potions, we can just put some sugar inside there or redstone. So yeah, we'll grab a little bit of redstone as our mundane potion source. We'll throw this inside like this, and that will start to brew up our mundane potions, which will then turn into the Aldamodium site. Now we could go ahead and then just use the Aldamodium site as is. It's going to give us a potion that lasts five minutes. Instead, we can turn all these into the Aldamodium site charm. Now the Aldamodium site charm has a durability of 192, so it will drain its durability as we keep it active. But the nice thing about the charm though is it can be turned on and off. So it won't take durability while we're not actually using it. But to make the charm, we'll have to take all three of those potions and combine them in a crafting grid with some blaze powder. We will throw them into the crafting grid and that will be our charm. So let's put our mortar and pestle away here and let's take this into the mining dimension and see if we can get our first all the modium or mined up. All right, here we are. Let's go ahead and just take off. I want to kind of go down to the deep slate level uh, where we were mining beforehand. And if we turn on our charm, we should, ah, there we go. We have one right there. Oh, and three over that direction too. So actually let's go ahead and get that one because that's going to be a little bit easier for us to get to. Uh, we'll just get our three by three mining out. And this should be right in the path of our tunnel. There we go. Awesome. That was super painless. All right. So with the power of fortune eight, we have three all the modium ore here. Throw your guesses as to how much I'm going to get from these three with fortune eight in the comments and see if you're close. All right, here we go. One, two, three, 14 from three. <laughs> I think that's a pretty good amount. We can further take this and double it using our hammer setup. So effectively that's 28 all the modium ingots just from three ore, which is absolutely insane. Like fortune eight is just so broken. Oh, and we got a all the modium ore from the quest here. So we can actually go ahead and add this to the collection. Now there was one more all the modium, I believe down in this direction here. Yeah, right here. Let's just grab this really quick as well. And there we go. Let's grab that. We got six from that one because we had 14 before, which is pretty good. And then we have the one that we got from the quest reward. So let's see what this one's going to give us. That gave us five. So that is 50 all the modium ingots. So I'll throw this in the furnace here and let it all smelt up into all these ingots. And then we're going to be all set. So looking at our next stages in progression here, it looks like our next step is to get the all the modium tools and armor. We do have to get the all the modium smithing template from the ancient cities to be able to go ahead and make the armor because all the armor is required to be made inside of the smithing table, which requires, of course, the smithing template along with some netherite gear. However, this quest also accepts, I believe, any of the tools or the sword. And we can make those inside the crafting table even without the smithing template. But it does come at a cost, of course, because if you look here, but this is where it's expensive because the plates cost four ingots each, unless of course you have a way to craft them into the plates another way, like using the press from create. We could probably actually craft the mechanical press to make that a little cheaper. I might actually do that now that I think about it. And then here we also have to do the exact same thing where we have to get some of the all the modium rods. Normally they cost three ingots per, or if we have a roller from the create mod, we can actually turn one into two of them. And all of these actually seem pretty doable. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pin both of these and maybe we can actually make these up really quick. Now to make andesite alloy, we have to, I know, get some andesite out, which we actually don't have a lot of looking at it here. We only have a little bit left. So I hope this will be enough for what we need, but we can get a little bit of iron nuggets out as well. And we can craft these up, I believe just in a crisscross pattern like so to make the andesite alloy. Now we have to just craft up one of the andesite casings just like this. So now we have two of these. We can actually go ahead and make a mechanical press. Uh, we need to get, of course, some shafts out and one iron block, and that'll make us the press. We're also going to probably use a hand crank for now, just because it's going to be the only, without getting it to create too much, this will be a nice cheap way for us to get a little bit of rotational power. So let's just grab a couple things out here. We'll get the hand crank. So if we get our platinum hammer out and a little bit of iron. We can go ahead and just 
combine them in the crafting grid to get two plates, which is not the best way to do it, but it'll work for this recipe. So we're going to hopefully be able to make our Aldamodium go a little bit further now, even though it's not a huge deal. It's just going to be the most efficient way for us to do it right now. So let's place our press down. We'll get the hand crank out and we're going to place the all the modium ingots underneath. We need, I believe, two of them. So we'll go ahead and just give it a good old hand crank. Just like so. And then also we're going to take that back for now. We don't need it anymore. And then the roller is what we're also going to need. Now, I think this might take rotational power from the bottom. Oh, no, we can do it this way. Okay, let's try and throw one ingot here. And can we crank it? There we go. It actually worked. Okay, so we have two all the modium rods now. But we're actually going to be able to now craft up the sword. I do want to get the other tools at some point as well, probably in the near future. And that'll be easy for us to do once we have a little bit more. But for now, just crafting up the sword will be awesome. So let's craft this up. Let's go one rod and two plates will get us the all the modium sword, which is going to be a huge upgrade from this one. It's double the damage. So in between clips, quite a bit has actually changed around here. For starters, Grace has been absolutely cooking on a build over at the other side of the bridge here. She's been going ahead and starting off building this awesome looking gatehouse here. I think she's in the process right now of experimenting with a little bit of shading on some of the parts of the build. She's also got this little waterfall from the gate over here that's kind of coming all the way down. And I think that we're going to go ahead and terraform this all to kind of all work into the river. But I figured that because she's got something going on over here, I should probably have something on my side of the bridge as well. Now, I have some loose plans for what I think I want to do with this area. And I think a lot of this involves taking down part of the mountain down to a certain height and kind of using it as a elevated surface to start building a massive project on. But I think before we get into that, I think I'm going to go ahead and build a smaller little gate on my side of the bridge just to kind of cap it off and make it seem a little more finished. And I happen to have the schematic all designed up, ready to go. And it is quite a bit smaller than Grace's build over here. But I didn't actually want this to be much larger because I figured that if it was going to be too much larger than this, it's going to take away from the actual bridge itself. And it might be a little bit weird looking right beside the mountains. So I think this is a perfect size for what we're going to go for here. And we are, of course, going to use our schematic cannon to get this placed in. And let's see how much this is going to cost us in terms of resources. All right, so let's see our material list here and let's take a quick look. We have a decent selection that we're going to need, but a lot of this we already have in our storage. I'll go ahead and collect these resources and then we'll be right back. All right, so this is all the stuff that we're going to need for the build. It is all ready to go and yeah, we should be able to just go ahead and get this thing started. But I think that's what we're going to call it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I really hope you did enjoy. If you did, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to join the Discord. The link is in the description down below. But that's it for me, everybody. I hope you all have a good one, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye!